church. Did you hear what the Bible just said? Say Read it again. I have said, ye are God. Did you hear what the Bible just said? It said that we're supposed to be gods upon the earth. That's right. That's what the Bible it. said. Right. All right. In order to be a God on this earth, you have to be set over a people. Right. You understand what I'm saying? We're supposed to be gods upon the earth. That should register in your mind. And you should say, somebody taught me a lie. Because I won't raised like I should be a god on this earth. Because my forefathers were out here marching to be equal to people on this earth. They wasn't fighting to be ruling over them. They was fighting to be equal. That's what I, you know what I'm talking about? Martin Luther King, Malcolm X. Was they fighting to be above all people upon the earth? Or was they fighting to be equal? They was fighting to be equal. You understand? But God said they were what? But these, I have said, ye are gods. The Bible said that we are gods. You understand? We're gods. We're going to come back here. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like to be a god upon this earth. Bring it out. You understand? That's who we have been called to be. All right? But we don't look like gods out here. We don't look like gods. Do gods kill gods? No. You understand? Gods don't kill gods. Gods don't do that. Now, are my brothers killing each other out here? My brothers, are they killing each other out here? It was, it's been going on for a long time. And you know what happens when you commit murder? You know what, you know what the Bible says what happens when you commit murder? We got a lot of things to show you today. Y'all just stick around. This is Rich right here. What's your name? Scrap. 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 Rich and Scrap. We got a lot of things we want to show you in this Bible. Because you ain't never read this Bible That's right. before with a good understanding. People never taught you this Bible the way you were supposed to be taught it. You understand? But we're going to teach it to you today. That's right. We're going to teach it to you today. Scrap, don't go nowhere. Stay right here. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You hear what the Bible just said? We're talking about gods that's supposed to be ruling this earth right now. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Lord chose thee one people upon the earth to be gods on the earth right. you understand one people to be gods on the earth you know to be a special people unto himself come on above below above equal to above did you hear what the bible just said rich it said we're supposed to be where above. we're supposed to be above all people Amen. that's upon the face of the earth this is the message that we haven't been taught out here. This is not taught in our neighborhoods. This is not taught in our schools. This is not taught in the churches. The church has never taught you that you were supposed to be above all people on the earth. That's right. They never taught you that. But we're reading the same Bible. You understand? That your grandmama has on her table. That your mama ride with. She ride around with it in her car. Some of y'all got it in your cars, but you never open it and read it or do anything that it says. Bring it out. This is the instructions that we have right here to raise us up yeah. off the corner. That's right. So we're not out here selling drugs to each other. You understand? So when I need something, I come to you and I take it from you. You understand? We're supposed to have a relationship where I can trust that you feel for me and I feel for you and we're going to labor together so that I can make sure you taken care of and you can make sure that I'm taken care of. That's, That's right. how we're supposed to be living out here. But we sell death to each other on these corners. You know what I'm talking about? We sell death to each other on these corners. Do you know what I'm talking about? Are we hanging out? Yeah, we hang out, right? But we sell death to each other. It's possible. No, that's what happens, all right? Because drugs are not good for you. That don't happen on all the no, it only happens on the corners where you find our people. That's right. Because you don't find that in the white neighborhoods. They're not selling drugs on the corners in the neighborhoods. You understand? Across. You know you're not gonna it's a lie, bro. Huh? It's a lie. Say it again, I can't hear you, Rich. It's a lie. What's a lie? They selling drugs in the white neighborhoods? Yeah, on their corners? Yeah, right. they stand yeah. the corners? And they're killing their own people? Yeah, they right. Say it again? Go ahead, I'm yeah. All right, now I know I'm still speaking on something to hit homes. You know why a lot of our brothers sell drugs? Because it's easy money. 
it's easy. It's easy to sell drugs and make a lot of money real fast. You understand? But God said that you're supposed to be a God upon the earth, and gods don't sell death to each other. That's not what holy. That's not what the holy yeah. people do. What about the white people shooting at the schools in the church? Right. That, that's, that's evil as hell. That's evil as hell. And you know who the white people is coming to to shoot up? They coming to shoot us up. That's right. Because they don't want us to be gods upon this earth. It's black men that's raising up because we believe what we just read. And what that looks like is we're not going to continue to sell drugs, to do drugs. We're not going to continue to allow our fathers, our mothers, our brothers and our sisters to do drugs. We're going to tell them, don't do that. That's evil. That's destroying our community. That's what a people will do that believes what we just read. All right, read that part again. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. Rich, you supposed to be a special people, my brother? All right, but you got to act like a king. But you understand? Because kings don't allow their princes, you understand, to kill each other and to steal from each other and to sleep with each other's girl. That's right. You understand? But that's what we're doing in our neighborhoods. Right. You understand? The music that we listen to perpetuates that evil. Kings don't live like that. You know who does live like that, Rich? You know who lives like that? A base people, a wicked people, a evil people, a people that's been robbed and spoiled. And now all they have is to kill each other to come up. That's the type of people that lives like that. That's right. That's who we have become. And yes, the so-called white man was used to destroy us. You understand? And But now that we believe what we just read, read it again. But thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Now that we believe we're a holy people unto God, now that we believe that we can't walk like everybody, we can't talk like everybody, we can't be out here, you understand, treating our women like everybody else treat their women. We can't do that no more. We got to raise our children. We got to get a good job. You understand? We got to provide for our families legally so we don't get locked up and we can be there to provide for our families. That's right. You understand? That's how kings live. You understand? Kings not going to put themselves in a situation where they might get locked up and now they can't be around their family for 10 years. That's right. For 15 years. For 25 years. Kings don't live like that. We got to rise above that. You understand why? Because God said that we must rise above that. Come on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. That we, got, we got to live like a people that's called to be above everybody on the earth. But today, we live like a people that's comfortable on the bottom. God says don't get comfortable on the bottom. We more than that. We greater than that. Come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's the position, all right, that we must aspire to be. But we're not going to get there if we're killing each other. If we're killing each other, you know what the Bible says? Give me that in Genesis. I think it's chapter 9, verse 6, 6 and 9. We're talk the, the, the law of murder. I want that one. All right, from yeah. from the beginning, from the beginning, six and, nine. six and nine. Give me that one. All right. This is the book. This is the book of Genesis, chapter six and verse nine. No, it's not it. Chapter nine and six. Chapter nine and six. All right. We're gonna show you what happens to brothers. All right, that put themselves in situations to commit certain crimes. Is that it? Yes, Here's what you got. This is the book of Genesis, chapter nine and verse six. Hey, listen good. Hey, rich. Rich, Rich, I want you to listen to what I'm about to read right now. Remember we were talking about the law of murder and what happens when you kill somebody? We about to read it out the Bible. All right, read what you got. Whoso shedeth man's blood. Call it and read it. This is the book of Genesis chapter nine and verse six. This is from the beginning, this has been the law on the earth. You tell me if this Bible is, is still a true book. Come on, whoso shed man's blood whosoever what shed man's blood the bible says whosoever shed man's blood come on by man shall his blood be shed the bible says by man shall his blood be shed is that still applicable right here where we live most people when they commit murder what happens to them 
Why are we still up, sister? How, how does God get them? How, how does God usually get the man that commits murder? Well, how, is he, how does the man suffer that commits murder today? Because most of us, you understand? Most of us, we got people that we know that have committed murder if we haven't done it ourselves. And you know what happens after you commit that sin? For the rest of your life, you're looking over your shoulder. That's, right. That's how you live your life. For the rest of your life. Why are you looking over your shoulder? Why? When you murder somebody, why is it for the rest of your life you're looking over your shoulder? You know you done did wrong. You know you done did wrong, but why, what makes you look over your shoulder? Why you can't get comfortable? Why you paranoid everywhere you go? What is that? What, what, what's the fear? What's the fear that you have? You understand? My brother, what's the fear that you have? After you commit a murder, why are you looking over your shoulder for the rest of your life? Why? Rich, why? Because you're being guilty. Why? You know why? I want you to tell me. What is it? What, wait, if, if you murder somebody, why is it for the rest of your life you're looking over your shoulder? What are you scared of? What are you scared of? Rich, come here. Come here, man. I know, I know you know more. I know you know more than what you're telling me right now. I know you know more than what you're telling me right now. I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this. All right? I kill somebody, I look over my Let's sword. say we enemies, right? Let's say we enemies. You understand? Let's say we enemies, right? And you 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 touch somebody in my family. You did them wrong. You understand? You shed their blood. Read what the Bible just said. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. The Bible said. You listening? The Bible said, whosoever shed of man's blood, let's say we had a beef, we enemies now, you understand? We still the same brothers, we brothers, but we had a falling out, you understand? And you touch somebody in my family, right? But you ain't get caught by the police. You got away with it. Ain't nobody tell. Ain't that what we say out here in the ghetto? My brother, ain't, what, 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 in the ghetto right out here where we live, you understand? If something happened and the police come try to talk to everybody, if the police don't get the information that they need nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, are the police don't get the information that they need? You say yes? No, I say you say no, right? No, no, I say that everything that you're saying, I respect that. Okay. I'm trying to help the community. Yes, yes. But this is some shit that we got to take down to City Hall. All right, all you right. You should have that motherfucker you, in front of you. If you stay here, no, no, bro. We'll deal with I, that. Bro, if you stay I'm, here, we'll bro, deal with I know that. who y'all are. I, I live in good. Jersey City. All places to the most high. I, I know, I, 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 I see patient. the guys. Wait a minute, you though, my guy. I can't be patient. You can't be patient. Because I'm not patient. This shit been going on for years. All right, just be so patient. So look, so look, you can't down, you can't down. I know, but you can't down a community. Listen, listen. Drugs is here. Listen, listen. All right, so let's go and take that shit. Listen, and, listen. And stop it. We, we can control from. what that we do. Down at, that shit is down at City Hall. These we motherfuckers, wait a minute, do. my guy. They, they, they need to cut some be lights patient. on. We can deal with the no, Bible. I'm screaming, bro. Just be Rest patient, bro. I'm trying to tell you You're something. You're being rude, bro. We, we out here talking, we trying I'm to build trying a community to here. Talk. I don't know your name. Do you know my name? Do you know my name, bro? I'm just trying to tell you. I don't know your name. Do you know my name? My name is Rick Brown. Let's start over. I'm Rick Brown. Nice God to meet you. you. All right, let's be, let's be respectful right. out here. So let's just let's, be patient. Right. Let me finish this question. Let's be patient. And then I'm going to answer your question. You can tell me what you want to talk about. I I and we can deal with the Bible. You can no, tell me your answer, no. that's fine. Just be patient. No, we all Let me got finish with him first. We all got this I understand it, but it has to be done in order. So that's, that's what the Bible says. Go down and fucking hold it, hall. hold it, hold it. It has to be done in order. Hold that, all right? Man, verse we will never get 14, verse 40. Rich, 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 stay with me. I'm teaching you something, all right? My brother, you be patient, I'll deal with you, all right? Just be patient. That's all I'm asking you. Just be patient. That's it. Read what you got. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14 and verse 40. Listen, we believe in the Bible, so everything that we do right here on this platform, we're going to control it with the Bible. All right? We're going to control the spirit with the spirit. That's what we're going to do. All right? Because these are all spiritual people out here. All right? And a spiritual people has to conduct themselves worthy as such. All right? Read what you got. Let all things be done decently and in order. Can we can we can we start over like that? Let's deal decently and in order. Let's show an example to our community that we ain't gotta be out here 
You don't, you understand at odds, screaming at each other. We can't, we can't agree. You understand? Let me speak. You speak. I speak. Speak. Let's have a discussion. Let's have a discourse. Just let me. I got you. I, I'm, I'm gonna let you bring it out. I'm gonna let you bring it out. I just want to finish this question. All right, we good. Genesis chapter nine, where we were. Yes, sir. Rich, let's say. You understand? Rich, rich, rich. Hold on, hold on. I need you to answer this question for me. All right. I need you to answer this question. My brothers, come close, man. Y'all too. Come over here. Yeah, do Come over here, bro. Then we're supposed to be family. You understand? I want to interact with y'all. You understand? We are family. We are family, all right? We just haven't been shown proper love. So all we know is to hate each other. But we are family, all right? Read what you got from the top. This is the book of Jesus, chapter 9, verse 6. Whoso shed man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. The Bible says, whosoever shed of man's blood, by his blood, all right, by man shall his blood be shed. So most of our brothers that commit crimes, evil crimes, you understand, will live the rest of their life looking over their shoulder because they're afraid that somebody's gonna come for them. That's law, that's biblical law. That still applies today. That's why when our brothers commit murder out here, they no longer have a, a clear conscience for the rest of their life. They live in their life looking over their shoulder because they're afraid that somebody might get paid back. They're afraid that somebody might take vengeance upon them. That's Bible law. You understand? This Bible is a true book. And can't nobody escape it. You understand? Can't nobody escape this law. Murder somebody if you want to. You understand? See if God sent a murderer your way to put you to death. That's what the Bible says. Read it again. Whoso shed of man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. By man shall his blood be shed. My brother's right here. All right? Do you know that you are called an Israelite according to the Bible? Did you know that? You didn't know that? So now that you know that, what must you do to bring forth change in your community? Because you live here. You understand? It's a lot that you must do. What does it look like? What does it look like? All right? We need brothers that's going to show forth an example of good works out here to learn God's commandments to repent get yourself right so you can get your community right that's right all right this is how God's is supposed to live Genesis or uh, Psalm chapter 82 where we were all right God said that we're supposed to be a God the only way for us to be a God is to recognize that we are special people we're above everybody Bring you understand out. but you know what happened we fell away from that that's why we're not God's no more read what you got this is the book of Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6 come on I have said Ye are God. God said that you are God. You understand? God called us to be God. God called us to rule this whole earth. Come on. And all of you are children of the Most High. Right. But ye shall die. But ye shall what? Ye shall die. Ye shall what? Ye shall die. Why are we dying out here? Why are we killing each other? Why are we selling each other death out here? Right? Why are we wake up? Don't know if we're going to live to see 25, to see 35. Why are we live our lives like that? God said that we shall die like men. That's why we live our life like that. God called us to be a God, but we reject God. Give me Romans chapter 6. We reject God, and now what happens? We die like men out here. We die like men. You understand? It's how many murders was committed in Portsmouth this week alone? How many murders was committed in Portsmouth this week alone? How many? Five. Three, five. You understand? Murder is happening out here. That's why you can't live your life with a clear conscience. You scared somebody gonna murder you. So our men walk around strapped. You don't see young men walking around. You see every young, every ghetto you go to, you see young men walking around with a gun. 15, 13, 12, 18 years old, they got a gun. They can't leave their house without a gun. Why is that? Because they scared, they fear for their life. You understand? They fear for their life because they're committing sin. And God promises you, if you commit sin, you will die the death. Read it again. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Come on. For the wages of sin is death. What did the Bible say? For the wages of sin is death. Did you hear that? The Bible promises you death for breaking his commandments. God says you will get death if you continue to break his commandments. This is why we die like men today right here in Portsmouth, Virginia. 
This is why there was five murders out here. This is why there was three murders out here. This is why the news keep going off with another black man killed in Portsmouth on Rodman Road. Another black man killed in Portsmouth on Deep Creek Boulevard. Another black man killed at the gas station. Another domestic argument between, between a black man and a black woman that ended up in both of them dying. You understand? Why does that happen in our communities? Why well, never read about other nations of people killing each other at alarming rates? Why do I only find that in our community? Because God says you're a special people, but if you reject his holy special laws, you shall die the death. Nation is men leading by example.